Hi, everybody. I'm trying to squeeze my way in here past the cat. Come here, Smudge. People want to see Smudgy. Come here, Smudge. Thanks for stopping by. I wanted to do an update on the collaboration video. And as you will see, I have disabled comments because comments to enter the collaboration giveaway that Connie from Just Another Stitch has started need to go on the collaboration giveaway video that I made. Um, but it's, I think she said that this, we weren't required to give a semi-finalist anything. And I, I don't agree with that. And uh, you're messing up my shirt now, Re Rexy. He's tearing me apart here, ripping my shirt off me. Typical males. <laughs> um, and I said I would, I would give, I think I've shut up one puny skein of scrubby yarn. Like, oh, shoot, I can do better than that. Now, the grand prize winner... I am required to send what I showed you, which is the shawl and the ball and the furls hook. But my semi-finalist, meaning the person I, she's only going to do the wheel once, right? That person who wins, you're not going to get one little skein of scrubby yarn. I don't have a whole lot, but I can do better than that. As a matter of fact, I went scrounging around and what I have found is this gorgeous sparkly Big Twist Shimmer. There's 109 yards in it, and there's four of them. Now, I will tell you, with four, you can make... I know it's, the weather's warm right now, but still. I know I made uh, Bag o Day, Crystal from Bag o Day. She had the fairy tale cowl and hat set. Was able to make that with the four balls of the Big Twist Shimmer. Um, the only thing I will say is, um, check your stitch count. I tried her stitch count and it didn't work for me, so I made my chain a lot longer, and it had to be divisible by a certain number, which I made sure it was. And then I did the rest of the way she, I had it full. It's great because it's got like a secret pouch here, and then the inside you could tuck something. I usually stick a mask in there, um, and it's a, it's a great pattern, but again, uh, just check the stitch count. Because when I did it her way, I said, that barely fits around my neck. So I don't know. People make mistakes. Maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. But it's a great pattern. If you have any questions, hopefully you have enough to make something nice with four skeins of this. Um, I think I have to draw the winner between the 20th and the 22nd of May. Then you have seven days to contact me. Um, and then my winner, my semi-finalist, gets given to Connie, and then that person's name goes in the big pot, and all the semi-finalists get entered and put on the wheel to win the grand prize. And the grand prizes are going to be coming from everybody who's collaborated in the giveaway. So all week long, you'll be keeping your mailman very busy bringing you goodies. <laughs> Now, of course, some people can afford to be a lot more generous. I wish I could. Trust me, I wish I could. Hello, rascal. Yes. He knows. He knows he wishes mommy. Well, you guys have, aren't missing any meals. Come here, Smudge. They were looking for you. Smudge. Treats. When you want them to come, they won't come. Oh, so anyway, that's the update. My winner will get not going to get a little skein of scrubby yarn. You're going to get some gorgeous big twist. Big twist, mm, 109 yards. It's 98 premium, 98% 98 premium acrylic and 2% polyester. Big twist shimmer. This stuff is gorgeous. And this, I had bought extra because I made the, the cowl in black and I loved it so much. I made the, the cowl and the hat and, the, and this purple. And it just came out beautiful. But there's... 109, so we'll say 110, that's 440 yards minus 4, uh, what's that, 136, 436, hopefully you can find something nice to make with 436 yards, and you have to be in the United States, I just wanted to remind you, I mean, is it going to cost enough anymore, the way postal, everything's gone up, um, I can't afford to ship overseas, 
Even in Canada, it's like, a lot of these people are crazy. Why they charge so much even just to mail a letter? I mean, my rent used to be late when I had to write it out a check, and I'd be in Canada all the time when I drove for Celadon trying to mail something out. I can't forget about it. Anyway, so that's the update. Um, my winner, my semifinalist winner, is getting four skeins of this beautiful shimmery big twist. And I wanted to show you how my blanket's coming out. It's so big and heavy. It's going to be ready for my friend's birthday, this big sunflower blanket. I'm trying to keep the cats away from it. <laughs> they love anything crocheted. It's the really good chunky, hometown chunky six yarn. And it was a paid pattern. Ah, oh, and I still got to just put the edging on it and then do the finishing work, you know. Find any loose ends and little tucks and snips. And I saw a couple places where I kind of goofed and there's a big space where it shouldn't be a space. I'd have to do a little judicious nipping there with uh, some thread. Uh, all right, I guess Smudge isn't coming to the party. There he is. I see him. Come here, Smudgy. Smudge. Cats, no, don't do what you want them to do. Anyway. <laughs> don't forget, uh, Connie, at Just Another Stitch, she's the brainchild of this. And for some reason, everybody's having collaborate, collaborating giveaways. Um, Dee's Creative Hands. She, she's just, her channel is exploding because I just think she's so lovable. I love to hear her talk. She's so talented. And my gosh, boy, does she have yarn. I thought I had yarn up the wazoo. I don't have one-eighth of what that woman has. It's like you walk into a library, you know, instead of books, it's all yarn. I'm like, man, <laughs> just a little bit jealous. <laughs> Wish I had that kind of space and money. I mean, that's wonderful. You go shopping in your own house. And yet... We still buy more yarn. <laughs> I only buy it when it's on sale, and even though, you know, even then. Because I think some of this yarn's been overpriced anyway, and then they, you think you're getting a bargain when they say half off. So, I guess that's it. Um, just sitting here kind of zoning out a little bit. <clears throat> been busy this morning. I took my pain medicine and... Got to change out three very heavy, stinky litter boxes. Phew, phew, phew. And then my, big, my back started aching. So I think what I will do is um, rest and work, finish up this blanket, because I've already got other out things in mind that I want to make. I have a friend in uh, Tennessee. Her birthday's in July. I'd love to make her a beautiful, sparkly shawl, something lightweight. Um... And I'm still working on the, I call it the empowerment shawl. It's a Jada and Stitches Country Bridges shawl, but I've renamed it because I have a, I know who I'm going to give it to. It's a friend of mine in Nevada who I haven't seen since I think we were 16 years old. And it's the craziest story, i got to tell you this. When I was 16, I was part of a play group in Westfield, New Jersey was run by a Mr. Iliano, and I forget the woman's name. This house was grand. Westfield, New Jersey's big money town, okay? They had a front entrance. They have a the help entrance, or I don't know what else you call it, servant entrance, delivery entrance. I mean, um, anyway, Mr. Iliano, that's right. And we were I was in a play. We were rehearsing in his living room, or actually this wasn't even his house. He thought, I thought it was. Um, for the play, The Children's Hour. And he wanted to introduce us to his star, his protege, his star of, of this play, and her name was uh, List. Last name was List. Now I'm blanking out on her first name. Is it Jill? Oh, Lord have mercy. Shame on me, Sharon. Shame on me. But anyway, my friend Barbara was uh, auditioning to be the piano player. This woman is incredibly talented. Oh my gosh, concert pianist and a brain like it. She's just amazing. But she's been through a lot. In fact, she's, she's writing a tell-all tell -all book about the man she was married to. Sorted, sorted, things she found out after he passed away. And, it's like, and pictures she found. And he was a doctor. 
and I guess well regarded in his field where he worked. And she found out what he really was about, and she's writing this sordid tell all book. Anyway, this gal Barbara and I reconnected after all these years. Um, it was, I think, Halloween weekend, and I was on TV on, I think it was Channel 7. At the time, I was at the uh, Democratic National Convention in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I was sitting right by the elevators. Now, mind you, I'm like 17, 17 and a half. <laughs> Blonde, very thin, wearing this little hot pants type of outfit. All of a sudden, I'm surrounded by blinding lights and cameras, and they're going, smile, smile. I didn't realize I was on television because my, my best friend's dad said, you look beautiful on television tonight, Bink. That was my nickname. Bink, you look beautiful. I didn't know what he was talking about. But in the meantime, John List had just murdered his whole family in Westfield, New Jersey. And that girl that was the protege of the Children's Hour was one of the kids. I remember when she did her reading. It was a very emotional part. <clears throat> and I got goosebumps. I mean, hysteria in her voice. I, I was like, can I have to follow that? Wow. <laughs> you know? I got goosebumps. It was so, she was so good, so realistic. Well, obviously, she was able to draw from whatever nightmare she was living at the house with her father. And he killed them all, the kids, the wife, everybody. And then he, he disappeared for a long time, I think. So that was on television, and that was the girl. And then, I don't know, I checked my other mailbox in Facebook. I don't know if we still have an other, but at the time we did. And almost a year to the day, there's a message from Barbara, where she called herself Tasha, but her name isn't Tasha. But, um, and it was like, oh my God, yeah, and, and unbelievable. I mean, the, the, we reconnected, you know, after all these years, and the crazy circumstances that brought us together and how our lives were touched, you know, by that evil and that poor girl, that poor girl that, that was murdered or that was in the play, was in the play with. <clears throat> and I've had some strange things like that happen. I used to go to a Girl Scout camp up in Sparta, New Jersey. Well, all those gals and the counselors were walking into the general store. You know, we did a lot of walking. It was beautiful up there. And we look out to our left, and there's a farm. And there's a car right driving very, very, very slowly. There's three women on either side of the car. I think there's one or two women behind it. And they're all walking like at a funeral pace. And there's a man sitting on top of the car, all hairy, you know, beard, long hair, and the whole nine yards. This is like 1969, so you can imagine. You know, they're hippie days. And he was wearing uh, a sheet on his bottom like, like a diaper. So, of course, all us kids, we're like 15, 16 years old. We were gawking. The counselor's hissing at us. Don't look. Don't look. Turns out that I laid eyes on evil personified. That man was Charles Manson. Yes, it was Charles Manson. She rented a farm close to the Girl Scout camp. I didn't know that for some years later. And then the light bulb went on and all the pieces clicked together. And I'm like, oh my God, I laid eyes on evil personified. Because if everybody, anybody of my era remembers what happened to all those people there, even a pregnant woman and Roman Polanski, I think he, he, didn't, he didn't get killed, but... I think his wife was pregnant and he cut her. I mean, it was just a bloody mess. I wish I could remember details like I used to. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for hanging in there with me. I had a bunch of crazy stories. I have a friend, Sharon, in Tennessee. She's a great storyteller. I mean, she's really had an interesting life. She used to be a former police officer and she's just been a truck driver and a damn good one too. Everything she does, she does excellently. Um, she's also a cancer like me. In fact, we're only a few days apart in age. I think her birthday's either the 7th or the 10th, and mine's the 5th of July. So, And she's another dear friend I haven't seen in some years, but 
we we would keep in contact, you know, talk for an hour and a half on the phone. You know who your true friends are, you know. Even if you miss a couple of years, you just pick up where you left off. And I again, I really cherish the friendships I'm making here on YouTube through this community. And I thank you so much for watching and thanks for listening to my stories. I just tend to babble a little bit. <laughs> That's how my brain is. There's just a lot of stuff going on in there. And I do have, I'm, I'm border, I don't know, I think I have Asperger's. I rated like 141 out of 200. So, in fact, I worked with a guy who really had Asperger's, and he said I was an Aspies, and I'm like, what's that? <laughs> so, I don't know, I think growing up maybe I, I was, but I, I don't know. I'm, I don't see, I don't think it's really affected me other than having like really bad ADHD. Yeah, I have trouble, I crochet, I can sit and focus. Uh, when I'm learning an instrument, I can sit and play the same thing over for hours and hours and hours to get better at it because that's what it takes to become good at an instrument, like especially the five-string banjo, uh, the violin. I love to play the fiddle. You have to practice for hours. Now, that I could focus on, but when I'm in the house, like, trying to declutter, <laughs> I get sidetracked. Like, oh, I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> but I don't, and then I don't know where to put stuff. So I think all my drawers have more stuff in them than clothes. It's really not a big house, and each room has one little closet. I made a terrible mistake buying this place, but I was guilt-tripped into it. And the real estate agent, who was someone I asked her to, to handle the transaction, because I didn't know better. The people who issued me the mortgage, I should have said to them, would you help me find something in this price range? And she, I backed out of the deal, and then she jumped all over me for it. Oh, he won't find anything else at that price. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was a big mistake. But on the other hand, I may not have what I want, but I have what I need. So I pay less than I paid for rent. And I don't have a water bill like I did when I lived in King, North Carolina. Their water sewer bills are really high. And it's a great town, but it's just... The water sewer bills are too high. You want to have your own septic and your own water. Or at least your own water. Don't get the sewer bill. But no, I'm out in the country. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. I Nobody tells me how I have to live. Nobody says you can have one cat or you can't have any cats. You can't do this. You can't do that. I have chickens. I have three cats. I have a mess, but that's okay. I'm not, I don't have a mean, nasty husband to bitch at me, oh, pardon my French. I'm not married to a narcissistic, abusive husband anymore either. There's a man who used to take pride in saying, this is not a democracy. And that's another thing. My dad pretty much coerced me into marrying him. Every day, just nag, nag, nag. He says, I'll, I'll pay the license. I'll pay for the license. Uh, I wouldn't have married the man otherwise, but whatever. The one man I truly loved is the one I left, and I shouldn't have done that. But that's another story for another time. <laughs> See how I, how I am? I'm too many things going on in my head. Maybe I shouldn't have had that second cup of coffee. I got hearing aids. Oh, so smudge, you're not going to come and visit everybody? So to re just a real quick reiteration, United States only, you will be getting the physical prize from me and the four balls of this big twist, beautiful big twist shimmer. And uh, the grand, and your name is going to be put in with the grand prize winner. And that grand prize winner will also get the prize from me, which will be the shawl and the ball and a furls hook. Right? Everybody wants a furls. Um, and it's no digital prizes are awarded. These are physical prizes. That we all paid for out of our own pockets, and some people have bigger, deeper pockets than I do. But I wanted to be involved in the fun and make some new Yarny people friends on YouTube and you more Yarn Yarny family, because this is our my social life. You know, I've really grown very fond of people to the point where I can say I love you, even if I haven't met you. I can still love you. So yes, I love you. Mwah. Thank you so much for listening to me babble on. <laughs>
And um, make sure you're entered in the contest. Just be a subscriber for me, please. That's all I ask. Be a sub. Like the video, of course. Same as Bag of Day. Be subbed and like the video. And this, that woman gives away tons of yarn. I think she's got two giveaways going on right now. There's so many giveaways. It's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could win the lottery. Then I could have some, some kick butt giveaways. All right, y'all. Have a blessed, healthy day. Be sure to enter the giveaway. And yes, I love y'all. And I'll see you later. Thanks for listening. Bye. Smudge. Smudge. Where are you, Smudge? Now he doesn't want to know me. And you guys are being good for a change. Okay, let me turn this off. I need a clicker. <laughs>